the way, I've got some headlines from Williams, I think from uh, his prepared remarks at least. Um, he doesn't say whether more interest rate increases are appropriate. Um, so maybe that's a step in the direction some are looking for rather than suggesting that, you know, they're not done uh, yet on their road. Although he does say that inflation is too high, it's going to take some time to see the full effects of rate increases. We're going to continue, uh, obviously, to monitor the comments from the New York Fed president of the New York Economic Club and whatever um, he has to say to Sarah um, over the course of the next 30 minutes or so. You wanted to highlight a couple of tech names that you feel are important uh, at this moment yeah. for what their charts are telling us. Let's do the first one, which is Alphabet. All right, so I'm long Alphabet, and it has not been a great performer over the last couple of years. It's definitely lagged some of the recoveries of other large cap tech, but I think it's at a moment of truth right now. And Patty, if you will, fire that chart I asked you for. All right, here's what we're looking at, guys. This is a stock challenging uh, overhead resistance that dates back uh, to the start of this year. It actually dates back to September of 22. You see it's about 108. That's where the stock is trading right now. Um, Google is the underperformer year to date amongst the big tech names. Microsoft's up 28%, Amazon 27%, Apple 32%, Tesla 36%, Meta and NVIDIA are both up 100%. Um, this stock's only up a few percent.